I can only think of my Christian experience as a young person. I was 19 years old when I was born again. I had a hunger for the Lord. I had a hunger for His Word. I had a hunger to worship Him, to, to learn about Him. But there was nobody around me that would just take me in their hands and father me and shepherd me. There just wasn't anybody there. And over the years, I've, I've learned from that experience. And there have been many times where young people come to the Lord and you want to help them. And you want to nurture them as a father in the spirit, if I can say that. But their independence is always the main hindrance. And we're living in a world which encourages, our education encourages independence. Our parents today encourage independence. They have this mindset, they want their kids to grow up and be independent so they can think for themselves, do them what they want, make their choices, make their decisions. Now those children come to Christ and now they flounder because of their independence. And they get themselves into all sorts of issues, relationship issues, financial issues, work situations. Because they don't have people who can help them and nurture them. So I believe that what God wants to restore to the church is this heart where, where we have for young people to help them. But that somehow young people need to be willing to, to submit their life and, and to learn. It was, a, it was a pattern we saw with Jesus. It was a pattern we, we see in the early, early church where the elders would take care of the youngers. They were an example to them. They would help them. They would encourage them. And I think that it has to go more than just the family unit. Because in the church, the Lord places different ministries. And young people need to open their hearts to learn and to benefit. It's not just going to meetings. But it's facing this, this real uh, block of, of, of being an independent person. And being willing to submit themselves. And that's why Paul writes... And he says, obey those that rule over you. Submit yourselves, he says, or it will not go well with you. And to me, that's very clear. So I don't want to be the Lord over any young person. I don't want to, to control or ma manipulate any young person. But it's a pleasure for me when somebody comes and they want to learn, they have questions, they open their hearts, they have choices about where they should go, where they should learn, what would be the best for them. And, and maybe they don't get the answers in their family. But they are free to come and to talk and to share. And to me, that's the way it should be. To me, it's this, this family unit that's extended. It doesn't mean that I override the authority of a father. Not at all. But we're talking about fathers in the spirit. We're talking about men that God brings into the church. Even older sisters that God brings into the church to help younger sisters. To nurture them. To be better children. To be uh, better with their Christian life. So the, the real issue that young people face is, is independence. And it's a major, major stumbling block for many. But I believe any young person that is willing to open their heart to, to the leadership in their church and with sincerity come and say, please help, please pray, and talk and communicate and walk with and work with, then I believe that the door is open for growth and for real maturity to come into their lives.